Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, the CCI Voice Instructor at VoiceBootcamp.com. CCI Voice Lecture on DVD is one of our new products that focuses on the theoretical and lecture part of the CCI Voice. It is used during our bootcamps around the globe, providing an add-on service to our students to ensure that they, pro they get the most out of the bootcamp by having the lectures heard uh, the night before or the day before. In this particular module, I'm going to focus on starting with infrastructure and network services. The infrastructure and network service is one of the most important part of CCI Voice. Although it could be the most basic part of the CCI Voice, but if you do not pay attention to this, it can cause drastic problem with your uh, lab. Now, obviously, you have uh, in in infrastructure. One of the main component of the infrastructure is the switches and phones and devices. Well, you have your IP phone that needs connection to the network. Now, when an IP phone or a PC that requires an access to the network, they need to have some sort of connectivity with a switch. So, here we have an edge switch and a distribution layer. I won't go into too much detail in switching, but we're going to be focused on what is that switch requires in order to ensure that uh, IP phone can communicate with it properly. Now, as you know, the Cisco IP phone also has a capability to connect a PC behind it so that you can have a PC and a phone sharing the same data port. Why do you do that? Well, simply one is that you want to reduce the port density to ensure that in a per, per cubicle or per workstation or desk, you do not have more than one port than necessary to connect all your devices. Now, think about the phone itself is a switch. It has a built-in three-port switch. So having the phone, a built-in switch, you could connect a phone to a PC behind the phone. Or you can connect another switch behind the phone. That's perfectly okay as well. So think about the phone itself is a built-in switch. Now, uh, one of the things that you need to ensure in a voice network is to make sure that your voice and data traffic, although they are converged into one infrastructure and network, that they do not collide with each other in terms of when it comes to sharing the data or the traffic. You want to make sure that the phone's traffic um, does not affect, sorry, the PC's traffic does not affect the phone quality or the voice quality. Well, how do you achieve that? We achieve that using a component called VLAN. Now, you, you already probably know what VLAN is. Virtual Local Area Network is where you divide a physical uh, switch into a virtual switch. Now, a VLAN, you have in a Cisco Unified Communications, you have two types of VLAN, a data VLAN and a voice VLAN. Now, the goal of the data VLAN is to ensure that the data traffic is carried uh, well, PC traffic is carried over the data VLAN and the goal of the voice VLAN would be is to ensure that the phone's traffic is carried over the voice VLAN. Now the question comes to how does the switch knows which traffic is what?